A Sunni divorce doesn't mean that you will be rewarded for doing it. No, but it's doing it correctly according to the to Islam. A lot of brothers and sisters don't realize that divorce has uh, uh, conditions and, and format. Is there like marriage? You know, you just don't get, you, you go to the sheikh, you ask what his our requirements are, there are steps you have to take until you get married. The same thing with divorce. The same way you start and initiated this relationship, you just can walk away. Also, there is a certain procedure you have to follow, certain rules you have to follow. And that's became really very disturbing for me as an imam when I hear and I see so many cases when people get divorced and they don't care about the rules anymore. They cared only allowed about it when they're about to get married. But after he got the girl or she got the guy and they got married to each other and now, you know, they don't care for the rules anymore. No, we should care for the rules uh, in the beginning and in the middle and in the end of, the, of this relationship. So the Sunni divorce is like this is when you divorce your wife during uh, her purity, that means she is not, uh, she doesn't have her menses, and also during that purity, you did not have a uh, sexual relationship with her. No intimacy took place between both of you. So since her last period. Uh, or if she is pregnant, she is known to be pregnant. In these cases, you are allowed to initiate the divorce. And also it should be done one time. You say, I divorce you, or you are divorced, just to put it one time. What is bid'i, which is not right, which is wrong, and which is considered a sin, that when you initiate the divorce, not in an appropriate time, which is while she has her menses, or let's say she, she finished her menses, but you had a relationship with your wife or, uh, 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 after her menses. You cannot initiate the divorce. You have to wait until she finish her period. And after she finish her period, you can initiate the divorce. And also, if you divorce her multiple times in the same time, you know, I divorce you three times or you divorce you, divorce you. That's also not the right way to do it. Uh, one of the things I would like to say also, when a divorce takes place, you should have witnesses uh, over the divorce. And some even without consider this wajib. But yes, the correct opinion, it is recommended. But I believe it's very important. You don't know how many cases I have to deal with where they dispute. Oh, he divorced me two times before. No, I divorced her on one time, ya sheikh. Uh, when was the divorce? Her idda finished, not didn't finish. That's why we say we have to have witnesses. When divorce takes place, make sure that you go, to, if you live in a Muslim country, you go to the court and document the divorce. If you do not live in a Muslim country, go to the masjid, document the divorce. It has to be documented, written, when it took place, in what, what state you were in, what the wording of it, because divorce is case by case. I cannot tell you just one rule apply to every scenario. Some statements, if you said, we might consider a divorce in certain in certain cases. A certain scenarios might not be a, a divorce. So it's like going to a judge to judge this case. Uh, that's why I recommend you, if you're going to do a divorce, make sure that you document this divorce. You're going back to your husband, you document the return. We call it a raja. That's a very important uh, 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 point to be kept in mind.